Black power, black power, black power. Streets watching TV back with another exclusive video. Exclusive dynamic video, prolific video for the mind. You know I'm always dropping something to put something, you know, on your mind. Something that you can ponder on. In this video tonight, I want to talk about uh, the distraction of Dr. C.B.'s method to fight the mucus and all diseases that kill black people and kill all people in general. Dr. C.B. had to be murdered to stop his method of curing people. What I'm saying is that anyone that gets in the way of the agenda shall be annihilated. No disrespect to Dr. CB's family. They was on the Breakfast Club, Club here uh, maybe a year ago or so, and they were saying that Dr. CB was not murdered by no one. But how would they know? See, when you're dealing with Big Pharma, you're dealing with billionaires, agenda and if you were in the way of a billionaire's agenda he has the money and the resources to eliminate you COVID-19 was a planned agenda by the Rockefeller Foundation Bill Gates Warren Buffett Mike Bloomberg Ted Turner Eli Broad and the house nigga, Ofa motherfucking Winfrey. Yeah. These people met in New York May 14th, May 2014. May 14th, 2014 to discuss the matter of genetic survival for white people. Joe Biden has attest to this. In one of his speeches, I heard him say that whites will be a minority by 2042 in America. Whites will be the minority in 2042 in America and maybe abroad. The natural order of the universe and the earth is taking a toll on white people. Their deaths outpace their birth rate. Before COVID-19, the white man didn't understand with AIDS and Ebola and all other diseases that they give black people, black people's birth rate was outpacing their death. Dr. CB said that the main disease that kill people is mucus. Mucus is the cause of your immune system falling down. Mucus is in the, the lungs, mus mucus in the nose, stop you from breathing correctly. So sometimes that you may have an accident, let's say you get shot 
and the shot to your body may be fatal. But when they hook you up to a breathing machine, you can't breathe that good because we live in a society where mucus is a constant in our nose and in our mouth. We spitting it up. And that's the number one killer. So COVID-19, mucus. Dr. CB said mucus is the number one disease, and guess what? He cure you with sea moss. He cure you with other remedies that he can give you that will overthrow COVID-19. Because COVID-19 dealing with mucus. HIV dealing with mucus. Ebola dealing with mucus which is the number one killer in the world. According to Dr. CB, I believe Dr. CB. I took sea moss and I feel different. I can feel it running through my body. I'm more generated. You know what I'm saying? White people genetically are in a dire need. So, what I mean by that, these billionaires was warned by the scientists by 2042 that white people would be extinct. The mindset of Western nice people is to kill and annihilate so they can exist. So this is why you got COVID-19. That's crazy. This New York meeting was with Bill Gates, David Rockefeller, Warren Buffett, Mike Bloomberg, Ted Turner, Eli Broad, and Oprah, the house nigga Winfrey. Y'all know Oprah Winfrey ain't never been for us. You know what I'm saying? Her main audience when she was on TV was white folks. Oprah has sold her soul a long time ago. That's why Gail King was on TV after Kobe Bryant passed, disrespecting Kobe Bryant, you know, Kobe Bryant might have been boule. He might have been part of this, this black boule. But at the same time, he represent black man. Now in these days of time, what they're trying to do with the black man is emas uh, emasculate him, put him in a dress, put him in tight pants. It's like skinny jeans. If you see how our young men are dressing today, these guys kill us. I see them at the store. All these guys that wear skinny jeans are not gay. They wearing skinny jeans because this is supposed to be the fad. F-A-D-E, fad. This is what's popping. But when you start putting women attire on men, psychologically, things start to happen. So we got to get out those tight clothes, brother. Get them back to them sisters. Them sisters ain't got no business showing that curvy-ass body out. The only pope be for her man or husband, whatnot. But I'd rather see some fine sisters and some tight stuff like that. I mean, I know my woman probably would beat me up for saying that. But women in tight clothes, I'm used to seeing that. Niggas in tight shit, that shit is weird. Only motherfuckers dressed in tight shit when I was locked up was the fucking homosexuals who was trying to be a woman and knowing they ain't no fucking woman. They, they weren't tight ass clothes up in there. That's the only motherfucker wore tight clothes as a man was women. Now they got it to where I see niggas in Africa with that tight, doofy, goofy ass shit on. I remember being a young boy watching GQ uh, magazine guys on the runway dressed like that. That was back in the 80s with that bitch shit on. And you niggas in, two, in, the, in the late 2000s wearing that shit? Man, get the fuck out of here with that tight ass shit. Bring back the baggy pants of Tim's, motherfucker. Be a man. And how the fuck you gonna sag with some skinny jeans on? A nigga know you got a gun in that motherfucker. If you trying to creep up on a nigga with a gun or something, the motherfucking skinny jeans reveal that you got a pistol. You pants too tight for an OG. I'm a gangster. Fuck that. I can't dress like that. This street's watching, man. This street's watching TV, man. We get gutter on this motherfucker, man. We tell the truth. And we speak what's real. You know what I mean? I'm not wearing skinny jeans. And if a black woman is watching this right now, 
You may be 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Tell your man get out the motherfucking white man agenda clothes. That's the white man's agenda. The white man's agenda is to emasculate the black man. That's why you see the commercials right now with the black man out the picture. You see the black woman with a white man in all the commercials. And I'm not apologizing. I got people in my family, cousins, you know, nieces. You know what I'm saying? They all got white dudes. But that's not going to stop me from bite. You know, I'm going to bite my tongue because, you know, y'all chose to date our child race. I'm not hating y'all. I'm not hating on you. I'm just telling you what the agenda is right now. I don't give a fuck who's sticking, who or who doing what. I don't care about none of that no more. All I care about is the survival of black people. And I see that the white man is trying to fuck the black man around because we the dominant force on this planet. What I mean by dominant force, our sperm count. Our sperm can outpopulate white people. What I mean by that? Anytime that a black man has sex with anybody other than himself, white girl, Chinese girl, the baby going to come out black. Baby's coming out black. The baby's coming out black. But what they're doing now is biracializing the babies and get them a Eurocentric concept of how to hate black people. And see, that's the type of world we live in right now is to get rid of black people and poor whites, Latinos and Indians and all other races of people are going to suffer because the main focus is to kill black people. Some of us poor white peoples, some of y'all poor white peoples is going to die because the white elite that's on top want to kill us off and y'all going to be some of the victims. And that's what that rush up on Capitol was about. A lot of those people know what's going on. I don't support either fraction of that, but that's what happened up on the Capitol. You know, those people know what's going on. Niggas just ain't on code. You know, niggas, y'all want to be in the middle of a white entity that's going at each other. What I mean, the, the fucking uh, race soldiers and white elites are going at each other. Us as black people, we need to be sitting back, taking advantage of this shit. I think it's quite funny, but it ain't going to be funny because niggas, they ain't paying attention. We're going to be victim of some of this crazy ass shit that's about to go on in this country because we don't believe that white people that evil. We, you know, we we don't believe nothing. As long as we go to church and pray to white Jesus, we cool. But yo, that white Jesus ain't going to save you in the end. Trust me. They come to your church. Don't raise soldiers come to your church. Why you have a presentation and Jesus don't even stop. Jesus don't stop the shit. They come in your church. Dale and Ruth came in your church and shot nine black people. Shot nine black people. And you motherfuckers still going to church? Shot nine black people. Why did Jesus didn't stop that? That's all I want to know. Kill nine black people. And the police took this nigga to motherfucking uh, Burger King because he was hungry. After he killed nine black people. Told you the police is with these motherfuckers. Police taking selfies up on Capitol Hill with motherfuckers. Let them in. How is the most guarded place in the world can be penetrated so easily because it was an inside job? White folks. So, Dr. C.B., he was arrested in New York in 1987 because he put an ad in the paper that he could cure AIDS. Right away, that, 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 that right there, it woke the authorities up. When that man put in the newspaper an ad that he could cure AIDS and HIV, I mean, AIDS, HIV, cancer, ED, and arthritis. Another cancer. I forgot about cancer. He was arrested. He went to court doing the procedures. I don't what I don't know what motion was was uh that Dr. C B, you know, filed because you know he represented himself. And so the judge told him, if you cured anybody, I need to have proof. I want medical records before you 
subsequently cure them. Well, the judge agreed with Dr. CB to bring nine people. Dr. CB, CB had 77 people show up. Many all medical records showing all the diseases and all the things that they suffered from before they, they, they got with Dr. CB and he gave them the medical treatment. After Dr. CB gave them the medical treatment, they was all right. Dr. CB was found now guilty. This was way back in 1987. He cured people from AIDS, Ebola, and all kind of crazy diseases that they, you know, they create. You know, they create these diseases in the laboratory to kill motherfuckers off. The depopulation of Earth isn't a fucking agenda, man. It's a fucking agenda. So, with this being said, you know, to bring y'all up to what's going on, I'm trying to connect this shit, connect the dots. 2014, Bill Gates and the boys they met to try to come up with a remedy to curb the population growth of black people. So, they're very, very strategic in their fucking thinking. Now they're showing... They're trying to denounce the black man, make him look like shit, and make the white man look like this. And I see a lot of sisters going for it. But this is the fucking agenda. We got to put a black man on a dress, in a dress on the Grammys. No woman wants to date a guy that's feminine. So, to stop the population growth of the black race, we must make the black man have sex with himself. We must make the black woman dissatisfied than the black man and look down on the black man so, so she can have sex with herself. Lesbian and homosexuals do not create nothing but death. That's why you got a cross in this country. You know, Christianity or Christian nation propagate homosexuality. Whether you want to believe it or not, the people that tamper with the book or tamper with the stone because you know that the Egyptian text was wrote in stone. Somebody went and took and copied it and put it in a book and called it the Bible. And this is what niggas live by tamper evidence of the existence of African people. If you look at that book closely, you can see that all those places in the Bible doesn't even talk about America or the Western world. They give you symbolic meanings of the Western world. You know what I mean? But anyhow, Dr. CB was arrested for uh, practicing medicine without a license. Subsequently, he was found not guilty. And that wasn't the end of that. You know, that's why he lived outside the country, lived in Honduras. Because America, they was going to get at him. His, his mother even told him that before she passed. Dr. CB told his mom, Mom, I cured my 25th AIDS patient. She said, they're going to come after you, and they did. David, uh, David Rockefeller, Warren Buffett, Mike Bloomberg, and the boys, all they did is send a hit down to Honduras, Honduras and uh, put a hit on uh, Dr. CB. They killed him in that jail cell. You got to understand, man, we go to jail in them hospitals, that's where they kill us at. Jails and hospitals. That's where they kill celebrities and people. That's a threat. You know. They kill you in them jails, man. Don't y'all know Martin Luther King was killed in the hospital? I know y'all don't believe it. 
Today is Martin Luther King's birthday. They didn't tell you that he was alive or he got shot on the balcony. There's a book out. Yeah. That they smothered Dr. Martin Luther King at the hospital because the agenda is to kill him. He wasn't supposed to live. White supremacy was tired of Martin Luther King. At first, it was cool till he spoke out against the war in Vietnam. Until he said that black people need economics. That's two things that get you killed in this country. That's the thing to get you killed in this country. You hear me? Woman at work, I'm going to back to text her, tell her I love her. She just texted me. She work on third shift. But I dig this. Martin Luther King was killed, man, at the hospital, man. We we go to hospitals, man. We get killed. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad and his books always say that black people need to get their own hospital. Because when you go to the hospital, they kill you. When Tupac went to the hospital, they hated Tupac. You know he wasn't coming out of there alive. They induced a coma on that nigga. They put a coma on that nigga, on Tupac, made sure he's not coming out of there. You feel me? They made sure Tupac didn't come up out of there. Prodigy, they said Prodigy, what they say Prodigy died from? They said Prodigy choked on the aid. First they tried to say he died of sickle cell disease, but he didn't have that problem no more after he changed his diet. You know, he was propagating Dr. CB. Everybody connected to Dr. CB is, is, is dead. You know, everything that um, everything that Dr. CB said, each person that took heed to it is not here. Lisa left Lisa Left Eye Lopez, Left Eye Lopez was killed in Honduras for, you know, suspiciously. I heard she died in a car wreck. I don't, I don't know. But she was propagating Dr. CB. She died in the early 2000s. Y'all know after Prodigy got out of jail, he was propagating that Dr. CB thing, and he did. Whole list of doctors died, man. You know, we got to understand this, man, about the Western world. They make a pill. They don't have the knowledge or the time to cure people because money is their God, capitalism. So if I could make a drug that's, that just treats the symptoms, make for five hours, Say you got pain in your shoulder, and I give you an ibuprofen, it may knock it off for about five hours, but it's back. That's the Western mind. It's the only treat, not cure. Only way you can be able to cure diseases from the African mind, because the Africans, what you call um, evil, because the white man taught you that the witch doctors or the people that deal with uh, herbs, voodoo, were like evil. African spirituality was evil. I don't understand that either, how the white man tricked black people that African spirituality was evil, but we catch a more hell up under Jesus. We've been down up under Jesus for 400 years. Niggas being Christians for the slave master, not to beat them, but you know, the slave master Christian, he finds something in the Bible to make it okay to enslave us. Same with the way with the Muslims. Same way with, with the Jews. All of them own slaves. Something wrong with that picture. That's why I say when them people went into the to the to the motherfucking halls of Egypt, what they call Egypt, but it's called Kemet. The real name was Kemet. When they took them a text off that wall, they changed and rearranged and they played the game on you. So you in church think you got the holistic um, teachers. You don't. Yes, Christianity foundation was stolen from the comedic principles. But after the white man got involved, y'all got all kind of poison running through your head. That's why your ass is still in the condition that you in. Jesus don't help you. 
Jesus don't help us as a people. I don't give a fuck what you say. Look at the condition of our people. And you keep screaming, Jesus, and we not free. Jesus ain't did shit. Jesus didn't stop Dalen Roof from going to that church, killing nine church members, right? Right? The number nine is very significant with these motherfucking elite motherfuckers. Number nine is a completion. Number nine is completion. Number nine months, a baby's to, is, is a baby is ready to be born into this world. Completion. Number nine is completion. So what the fuck was going on where he killed nine black people down in the church and they took that nigga to Burger King? The cops took the motherfuckers to Burger King because they all in on it to annihilate and assassinate black people, whether y'all want to believe it or not. Dr. CB, rest in peace. Everybody connected to Dr. CB is dead. If you was propagating Dr. CB's product back in those days, you were dead because COVID-19 had to be released. They don't give a fuck now what you come out and say now because COVID-19 is here. The white elite unleashed this shit on the planet on purpose. If you look and go back and look at Bill Gates' presentation about pandemics, he talks about we're not ready for the next pandemic. Then a couple years later, here it is at our front door. Because he prophesied it. Because he knew that they was making it. They already had a, a patent on it. And they released it. Check this out, fam. The, in the UK, the vaccines rolled out in the, in the, in the, in the, in the UK, right? As soon as they got the vaccine, a new strain of COVID come about. How do a new strain, how do this thing moves and turns and turns itself into a new strain if it's not being manipulated by man? Come on. Get out of here. I want to hear it. Y'all know that these wicked world leaders, the New World Order motherfuckers, y'all know what I'm talking about, Illuminati, playing this shit predated this shit days and days and years and months in advance. When they do shit, they already got it written out. It's already written. Okay, okay, fam. I'm about to switch gears for a minute. Nipsey Hussle. Y'all remember when he got killed? March 31st, 2019. Do y'all remember? Did y'all see the film? It seemed like everybody that was in front of that goddamn marathon store knew something was going to happen except Nipsey. Nipsey Hussle went on the breakfast club saying that he's going to make a documentary on Dr. CB life. He was going to do the courtroom scene where he brought 77 people into the courtroom and prove that he could heal people from HIV, cancer, ED, and etc. March 2019. Nipsey had to go. As soon as it happened, when Nipsey got killed, the news of Nipsey also got killed, it was niggas coming out the woodwork. I mean, why are you suggesting that it wasn't the government that killed Nipsey? It wasn't no conspiracy. It wasn't no government that killed Nipsey. It was some nigga shit, some gangbanging shit. But look deeply. I want y'all to look deeply. When Charlemagne the God, this breakfast club, I'm telling you, set you people up. Watch it. He asked Nipsey Hussle, you can go back and look at it. And that raised antennas with the elite. Because the elite back that fucking joint. The breakfast club. Nobody blacks own that. I'm telling y'all. Y'all see the white dude, he be sitting there quiet all the time in the breakfast club. Seeing with the beanie just sitting there. What the fuck is he an agent? Do y'all be paying attention? 
when y'all be watching these videos, or y'all just be watching them? These niggas got 2K followers, and they straight bullshit. I can see right through it, but a nigga like me, y'all don't fuck with me. Niggas don't fuck with me, because I'm going to keep it real and gutter. I ain't got time to be fake, uh, uh, fucking, uh, uh, faking the funk. Young Pharaoh got 2K, 20K followers, and this nigga bullshitting. Say he was going to get a, a daycare center for the kids. No, you can't get a daycare center from the kids. Nigga, you a convicted felon. You ain't did shit for the community. This nigga, hey, this nigga was crying when Trump lost the election. What kind of shit is that? That's what I'm saying. How the fuck you going to be a conscious black man knowing these Neanderthals ain't got no love for us, but you going to say Trump is not a racist? Y'all go back and look at Farrell's presentation. Trump is not a racist. I didn't say he's a savior for black people, but he's not a racist. Get the fuck out of here. I fuck with Seti, though, because Seti bang on the beast. I fuck with this boy Seti. I fuck with Seti. He a real motherfucker. I fuck with Seti. But I don't know why he fuck with Pharaoh. Dude faking the funk, man. You know. And on rap bars, that nigga be kicking. He can't fuck with me. I'm an OG. Y'all can look at some of my motherfucking music. I do this shit off the phone. I'm not in the studio like him. If I fuck around in the studio, I got an app on my phone that I use, man. And I put my music to it. I just do this shit, you know, for recreation. Or sometimes I do this shit because I got to get the messes out. You know what I'm saying? I drop heat. I drop heat. Pharaoh can't fuck with me in this rap game. I run over that nigga like a bulldozer. Some of these niggas y'all be listening to. Get me a platform. I bomb on them niggas. Old nigga. Yeah, I, I'm lyrical and climb, blow their mind. You know, fuck all that shit. Man, you too old for rap. Nigga, they got nothing to do with physicality. Physical, your physical. It got something to do with your motherfucking mental. I run over them niggas. <laughs> they can't fuck with me. I don't give a fuck who you go get. You know what I'm saying? All I need is an ink pen, nigga. And it's on. Ink pen in the fucking dictionary. But anyway, like I say, the Practice Club, um, Vlad TV, Fox Soul, uh, what's this other shit? The Red Carpet. All that shit backed by European motherfuckers. So you get on that platform talking shit, they're going to remember that. Charlamagne, the guy asked, uh, he asked the brother, he said, well, how did he say that? He asked Nipsey Hussle, he said, do you believe Dr. C.B. was murdered? He said, you know, hell yeah, he was murdered. You know what I'm saying? Whole list of doctors get killed. You know what I'm saying? And you want to make a documentary, a documentary, you want, uh, he wants to make a documentary on, the, on Dr. C.B.'s life. So you let this motherfucking movie or film come out and see the pharmaceutical motherfuckers and the elite motherfuckers was at Dr. CB and they killed him. Do you think black people would take the vaccine shot? Black people are already skeptical. This is deeper than the Tuskegee. Now they're trying to get rid of everybody that's black. So y'all trying to tell me that Nipsey Hussle got killed because he called a nigga a snitch. This was a cold setup. Nipsey Hussle's circle got him killed. Government agents or whoever got in that circle with that money got that man killed. Jealousy a bad motherfucker. See, black people been taught to hate themselves. So it's easy to hire another black person to kill a black person because he already envied them. If y'all watch that video closely, when Nipsey got shot, Eric Holder was talking to a white guy. I'm not saying the white guy had to do it, but it's like he gave him something. He talked to him for a minute and he went in there and shot the brother. I didn't see the video before he came back. Because that's the second time going up on that lot. Eric Holder. 
And by the way, how the fuck did Eric Holder get Christopher Dorgan as a fucking lawyer? Do y'all know who the fuck he is? This is a high price top lawyer who used to be a prosecutor in the OJ case. He the one, him and Marsha Clark, try to get OJ ramped up with no evidence. Only reason why OJ got off because it's money and they didn't have the evidence. But the number one reason why OJ got off, y'all might not believe this, Crips and Bloods and all kind of black motherfuckers in New York, I mean in California, ready to tear that motherfucker up. Not for OJ. Just based on the fact you got a black man on trial, but you got no evidence. You got no evidence that he killed his wife. No evidence. And what I heard and what I've been studying, and I hate to put it out there like that old girl was in debt to a motorcycle gang. And I'm not going to say their name. I'm not into snitching. But when you get people drug on credit and you don't pay them people back, bad things happen to you from where I'm from. I'm from the streets. This is why this is called Street Watcher TV. I seen shit in the streets. I lived in the streets. Streets Watcher. You can't tell me that OJ wanted to kill one white bitch when he's a pro, ex-pro football player with a lot of money and all the white holes at him. So you mean to tell me I'm going to destroy my life over one white woman when all the women at me? I believe she was killed by, some, by people she owed money to. And I'm not going to open that can of worms, but anyway, how the fuck did Eric Holder get Christopher Doran, the prosecutor that was trying to convict OJ? How did he get that lawyer when they say he broke? Where did Eric Holder get the money to get a top-notch lawyer like that? A celebrity lawyer. See, it make it all suspicious that the government was involved with the killing of Nipsey Hussle. Did y'all know that no one, all these niggas that got start screaming, Crips, Bloods, all kind of motherfuckers, said this was nigga shit, it was street shit, it wasn't the government, but they didn't reveal that the LA police was investigating Nipsey Hussle. For what? He was self-made. Wasn't selling drugs no more. Wasn't gang banging no more. Who gang bangs and own their own business? Who gang bangs selling $100 CDs out the trunk of his car and then sign a major record deal? Come on, man. The L.A. police working with the elite that was investigating Nipsey Hussle for gang activity. They didn't tell y'all that. But the police department was all on TV talking about how Nipsey Hussle was an icon for his community. He was an upstanding person for his community. They said a lot of nice things about Nipsey Hussle, but at the same time, the racist bastards was investigating Nipsey Hussle. See, all these guys that start screaming, there was no government conspiracy. You know, it just, I mean, what, what, made, what prompted them to come out and say that? What prompt these niggas to come out and say that? Everybody connected to Dr. CB, who's about to propagate his ideal how to treat patients, going to end up getting in some type of trouble. That's why when Dr. CB's family was on the Breakfast Club, they smart. They said, no. You got to keep in mind that Dr. CB was old. That's what they say. He was in a jail where it was cold in the jail and he got a pneumonia in the jail. Mucus, the same disease that he fought against, he died of. I find it to be funny. Even though he probably couldn't get hold to his medication and everything, but when you got CMOS, and you don't eat a bunch of crazy food and you, your diet is proper, proper, you can survive in jail for a minute because your body's in good condition. Here's a brother who changed his eating habits in 1987. 
I mean, before 87, 84. So you mean to tell me that he couldn't survive being a being in Honduras jail? Is it cold in Honduras? They didn't give him a blanket? They killed him in that jail. And that's how the game go when you go up against pharmaceutical and the elite. Their agenda cannot be disrupted by Dr. CB and a brother such as Nipsey Hussle. When the Nipsey Hussle was on the Breakfast Club and he said that his wife Lauren introduced him to people like Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, Jay Z. We start rubbing shoulders with the elite uh, entertainers such as Jay Z and people like that. Things can happen to you, especially from the streets like Nipsey Hussle. He was never mainstream. So when he went mainstream, that might have been his problem too. When you start rubbing shoulders with these evil elite motherfuckers, shit happened. How the fuck rappers 19, 20, 21, 22 keep dying like six months apart, three months apart? Some type of ritual was going on. Ritual, I mean, is going on where all these black rappers, young black men are dying at a young age. I don't understand. Something's going on. 77 patients that Dr. C.B. healed. More than that, but he proved it to the world that he could cure AIDS and etc. A lot of people didn't, uh, didn't believe it, but he, he proved it. And every people that everybody's connected to Dr. C.B. who is pushing for holistic treatment and study the traditional treatment of Europeans. Europeans only treat the symptoms. Africans cure the fucking disease. Okay? That's how it go. Nipsey Hussle was talking about the LAPD. Why? They don't have no definitive answer why he was fucking targeted. They even try to get the landlord to evict, to evict Nipsey Hussle from the Marathon building. Okay, it's a building, then it's a store. But the LAPD didn't know that Nipsey owned the fucking building. Not only did the holistic thing with Dr. CB that he wanted to release the documentary, a, a, a documentary on uh, Dr. CB's life, that wasn't the only thing that got him killed. Uniting. Here's a brother talking about uniting brothers, Crips and Bloods. Don't you know that put the fear in the white man? You talking about uniting Crips and Bloods? You can unite any type of black people that's fear of a black planet. It's fear of a black planet. And that's the name of this this video is going to be Fear of a Black Planet. You know. And that's what's going down, man. I just want to get that out tonight, man. Because I see and connect the dots. Why Dr. CB had to die. Left Eye had to die. Because she was going around telling people, hey, this is what's happening with Dr. CB. You know what I'm saying? And she even moved to where he lived at to get treatment. So evidently, it was it was it, it, it was uh, a promising thing for us as a people to go back to our roots and deal with the holistic treatment towards our bodies. That's the only way we're gonna be able to sustain life up on this planet. We can't keep eating like the European prescribe us. We can't eat what they eat. That's not our dietary law by nature, and that's why we dying because we don't keep ourselves. In, in 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 good condition, you know, physically. You know, physically we just we eat three times a day, sugar. You know, sugar's the number one killer. It's white. Everything white kills you. White bread, white sugar, you know. But uh, you know, you know, starch, you know, you know, Dr. C B here to save our lives. He saved his life. You know, he went on a fast, you know, 
a uh, Mexican doctor told him if he don't go on the fast, he'll die. When he first, you know what I'm saying, ran into all the uh, the elements of, uh, not the elements, but the, the ingredients, the, you know, what was good for the liver, what was good for the heart. When he ran into all those, you know, things right there to help us, you know what I'm saying, cure ourselves, you know. And uh, we know that when he cured himself, that he like shit. If this could work for me, it could work for my people. And so that's what got Dr. C B, you know, killed, trying to do something for black people as far as, you know, how we eat. You know, that's how uh that's how knowledge is passed down from the elders, man. You know, we always pass the knowledge down. Dr. C B try to pass the knowledge down. And uh those are uh, people that uh that prescribed this agenda, you know, they saw Dr. C B as a threat, and that's why he's not here. And if y'all believe that Nipsey Hussle's uh Nipsey Hussle's uh killer did this because Nipsey Hussle called him a snitch, that may be one of the reasons, but that chump was paid. Streets watching.